Good evening. The chief prosecutor calls it the murder weapon. She was talking about Carlos Fierro's BMW. Police say hit and killed William Tenorio in downtown Santa Fe last year. Today, jurors got their first look at the car in day four of the prominent lawyer's vehicular homicide trial. News 13's Dave Bowman is live in Santa Fe with more. Jessica, that black BMW had been in a police impound lot since the November 26 crash. Today, it was towed here to the Santa Fe County District Court parking lot. And before jurors saw the car, Carlos Fierro and his lawyers went to the parking lot for a look. It was the first time he's seen the car since the crash. Fierro's lawyers fought to keep the jury from seeing the car. Attorney Jason Bowles told the court the deteriorating condition of that BMW since last November would wrongly influence the jury. District Attorney Angela Pacheco countered jurors need to see the car, even if its appearance has slight changes. They should take that into consideration if that's in fact correct. You know, again, Your Honor, it's it's the best evidence. It's the weapon. It's the murder weapon, Your Honor. Jurors later were allowed to see the car. And adding to the evidence against Fierro, a state lab technician told the court that she took samples of a shirt from, Al, uh, from Alfred Lovato and it had spatters of victim William Tenorio's blood. Now, Lovato was a passenger in the car, at, in the wreck, and was a former state patrol officer. Back to you. All right, thank you, Dave. Prosecutors have two more witnesses to call. They're expected to rest their case tomorrow. The defense will then present its case. They have said Carlos Fierro will testify in his own defense.